Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and today I'm making a Christmas tree light sequencer. So I've got a SaintSmart 8 relay board wired into an Arduino Mega. Um, I could have used a uh, Arduino Uno for this. Um, however, due to the number of pins I'm using and the fact that the tone library on the Arduino locks out uh, pins 13 and 9, I believe, but I'll have to double check on that. Um, I decided to use the Mega because I have the extra pins available, and I could put another relay board on there and be able to sequence a whole bunch more light strings. But right now I just have 8 on there. I don't have the Christmas tree lights wired into the relays yet. They're sitting here waiting to be wired in gotta get some power strips and do some splicing of wire but basically every one of these contacts on the side here you just take one wire of each string and loop it through a, uh, a relay contact so that the relay can break the current to that light string so there are eight relays on there I can have eight separate light strings I've got a piezo buzzer on here to play the music um, it could just as easily be a speaker or with a little bit of conditioning a line level input to a large stereo system to play the music outdoors so you run your lights you get them strung up in your yard wherever you want them light up trees your windows you've seen pictures uh, movies on YouTube of people lighting up their whole front yard and house and sequencing it with music we're going to show you how to do pretty much the same thing on a very low end scale so eight different strings of lights I'll be showing the lights on the relays blinking and you'll hear the relays clacking along with the music and even if I wasn't playing any music you could probably understand which song I was playing just by the sequence of the relays so we're gonna just quickly look here what we've done I found a website that gives the frequencies for each note on a keyboard and we're using the third octave with a slight dip into the fourth octave C, high C, or what they would call middle C. And I made a sequence chart in a spreadsheet so there is an event for every note in the song. So there are 57 notes in this song. We're going to be playing Joy to the World. And I've laid out what, what um, word in the song goes with each event. I've laid out what letter or note goes to each word in the song um, whether it's third octave or fourth octave and what frequency goes along with that so that when I come into my code when it comes to an event or a note I turn on the lights and because this is a Sane Smart Relay board a low activates the relay not a high I then play the tone so I'm saying, okay, send the frequency of 196, because this is a G on the third octave. I delay, I turn the tone off, and then I turn the lights off by sending a high to the relay board. And then I go to the next event, which is the next tone, or the next note in the song. And I've, you, I started with some code from uh, a, uh, just a light show that I found on Instructables. So he had already worked out the delays for the, uh, for the lights, for the quarter notes, half notes, and that will be at the top of the code. And I'll just quickly scroll up so you can see that. He's got 150 millisecond delays, 225 millisecond delays, 400, 450, and so on for each part of the song. And that would equate to your quarter notes, your half notes, your eight notes. But uh, he didn't add any music to his, so I went in and took that and did some massaging to the, his code. And I'll put the link to his original Instructable in the article as well that I'll link to this video. Um, so it's time to go ahead and plug this in so that you can hear it and see it. It's already been uploaded. So we turn all the, light, all the lights on briefly and then we'll go into the song sequence.
and then there's a delay and then it will start the whole sequence all over again you could go ahead and you could change the songs um, you, of course you'd have to figure out the delays and you'd I'll, I'll link the uh, website that gives all the frequencies for the different notes um, so that you can work out other songs ideally eventually I'll have an SD card on here and I will have all the songs pre-set up in strings on the SD card and then put some push buttons or a rotary encoder uh, connected to the Arduino so you can select which song you want to play instead of just being limited to one song. It's going to take a lot of work to figure out all the, the delays and the note combinations and which light strings I want to light up for each note. You'll notice I have multiple light strings for some notes and that's completely arbitrary as to what lights you want to light up for each note but you want to make it interesting. So that's our Christmas tree light sequencer. This is Steve Spence with arduinotronics.blogspot.com uh, Thanks uh, to SaneSmart for sending us the relay board so that we could uh, play with this and uh, hope to see that uh, you can build some similar projects. Um, all the code all the schematics, everything will be loaded at arduinotronics.blogspot.com. The exact URL will be linked to the YouTube video. Thank you very much.